Ajakuta Integrated Steel Complex was conceived and steadily developed with the vision of erecting a meteorological process plant, cum engineering complex, with other auxiliaries and facilities. Also note that the complex is meant to be used to generate important upstream and downstream industrial and economic activities that are critical to the diversification of our economy into an industrial one. Also aware that the steel plant aptly tagged as the bedrock of Nigerian industrialization was erected over 35 years ago. Due to constant preservation, the facilities have maintained largely intact, although the electrical, electronics and the electrical items might have gone bad. Aware also that Ajakuta Integrated Iron and Steel Plant is planned to be executed in three phases and was con conceived to launch Nigeria into an industrialized nation and make the manufacturing sector lead in GDP contribution. It covers over 24,000 hectares of land. Among those phases are phase one, production of 1.3 million tons of liquid steel per year to generate round products and light sections. Phase two, production of 2.6 million tons of liquid steel per year during which flat products are to be added to the product mix. And phase three, production of 5.3 million tons of liquid steel per year to enlarge volume of product mix and include some special grade or grades of steel in that geometric order. Senate also agreed that a working steel plant is always the bedrock of industrialization for any developing nation. Hence, it is one of the pillars of the Nigerian Industrial Revolution Plan, NILP, launched in 2014. Reiterates that the steel sector is very critical to our national development because of its catalytic role and leakage effects on the other sector of national economy. Aware that Ajakuta Steel Plant is situated on the 24,000 hectares of greenfield field landmass that is envisaged to grow into a technological Village, cl village cl clusters for small scale industry, as we have in Sheffield in UK and Bukaro in India presently, that will in due course utilize the products and byproducts of the steel plant as their raw materials. Further aware that employment generation for the first phase commissioning of steel plant will yield 10,000 direct technical staff and 500,000 indirect jobs in terms of unskilled, semi-skilled, and skilled in downstream and upstream industries and services. Regrets that without developing our own steel industry, we will only export all our raw material, all our raw steel at very cheap rates and import finished steel and allied products at exorbitant prices, as it is with our oil today. Regret also that Nigeria imports over 2.3 trillion naira of steel and allied products every year. Our own steel industry will therefore be a tangible foreign exchange earner and saver for our fragile economy. concludes that a completed Ajakuta steel plant in no doubt will present a huge benefit to our bid for economic diversification. It will be a huge foreign exchange honor and saver for the country and employment generation thereby help greatly in reducing the current wave of youth unrest
kidnapping and banditry in the country. And aware that in line with this administration's commitment to the development of the steel sector, the presidency in C inaugurated a presidential committee on the implementation of the Ajakuta Steel Company. The Senate accordingly resolved to urge, one, to urge the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, expedite action towards the completion of the Ajakuta Steel Project. Two, commend the presidency in C for inauguration of the committee on the implementation of Ajakuta Steel. Three, to urge the committee to hit the ground, to hit the ball rolling by ensuring that all issues surrounding the operation of Ajakuta Steel Company are resolved. And finally, urge the Senate leadership and the Committee on Solid Minerals and Steel Development to undertake an assessment oversight on the complex after COVID-19 lockdown. I so submit. Prayer one. Urge the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, expedite action towards the completion of the Ajakuta Steel Project. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay, the aye say. Prayer two. Commend the presidency in C for the inauguration of the committee on the implementation of Ajakuta Steel Company. Those in favor of prayer two say aye. Those against say nay, the aye say. Prayer three. Urge the committee to hit the ground running by ensuring that all issues surrounding the operation, the operations of a Jakarta Steel Company are resolved. Those in favor of prayer three say aye. That was against say nay. The aye is aye. Prayer four, urge the Senate leadership and the committee on solid minerals and steel development to undertake an assessment of oversight on the complex after the COVID-19 lockdown. I'm not sure if we have to ask a committee on solid minerals. Is there routine work? It's supposed to be their routine work. So um, I don't know. Where is uh, Senator Oseni? Can we stand down this, uh, this prayer? Because they can do it. In fact, they are supposed to do it. <laughs> 